Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be testing the HGLRC forward. Now this is one of the latest ESCs from HGLRC. Now I was never a really big fan of HGLRC because I've had a couple of issues with their previous models. I think they were using a different manufacturer to where the pads were ripping. However, this one's a different story. It's either made by Spedex or possibly by Airbot. And if you notice something here, they are doing a lot. I've seen a lot of ESCs start to do this actually. Let me see if I have one around me as well. Uh, what they do is, I think they order the basic ESC, you know, with the MOSFETs, the capacitors and everything, and then they leave it modular. As you can see here, it's soldered on, as you can tell right there. So maybe, you know, HGLRC would do this part and whatever manufacturer would do this part so they don't copy them. So I think that makes a lot of sense to me because I'm seeing it quite a lot. Also, iFlight is doing that as well. And this does seem like AirBot design because of the square pads. It's just their little signature move on just about everything they make. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do the 4S ESC test and we're going to test this ESC here on a 2306, 2400 KV Brother Hobby Motors like I do with any other 4-in-1 ESC. However, the 6S ESC is upcoming next week also with the stress testing. I know a lot of people are waiting for that and I am building it. I just ordered some, uh, what is it called? Some fireproof mesh so I can just stick, you know, just wherever I can to make sure I don't blow anything up or catch anything on fire. So that's what I'm doing currently. However, today we're going to do the 4S ESC testing. And then when I do the 6S ESC testing, I promise you I will not make them in separate videos and I will do all of them together at once. The Ori 32, the Acon, as well as this HDLRC. So enough talking, let's jump to the testing and we'll take it from there. All right, so this is the HGLRC forward. I think it's rated for 45 amps and it's a 20 by 20 ESC. So let's take a look at this. Here we have the throttle noise test, which is 10% throttle, 25, 50, 75, and 100% throttle. Both of these are exactly identical. And then here we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. Now, so far it's looking good and it's competing with the Ori 32 as well as the uh, Acon AK32 just from looking at it but now we're going to bring them into perspective because I still have not gone over this so let's go ahead and check this out together so here's the Acon I'm bringing in the Acon AK32 here and then here we're going to bring in the noise as well for the Acon so as you could immediately notice is that around 75% throttle the HDLRC is doing better now the HDLRC is on the bottom here um, how much better not by much basically almost almost identical I don't want to say identical Maybe this is like a four, four volt uh, amplitude and this one's around five to six volt amplitude here possibly. Yeah, just a little bit more. So in terms of this test here, these testing, the HDLRC forward is better. Now this is on a 4S, 6S will be upcoming like I mentioned. Um, also full throttle, the HDLRC looks much cleaner. Not by a lot, but it's still much cleaner in terms of the testing here that we're looking at. Simulated aggressive flight maneuvers, basically almost identical. You do have a little bit more voltage spikes on the uh, Acon AK32 and on the HDLRC forward, it's looking pretty good here. So that's really nice to see. Let's go ahead and bring in the other one, which is the Ori 32. So where is the Ori 32? Here it is. So now up top we have the Ori 32 and there we go. So you can immediately notice that the HGLRC forward is doing better. I mean, on about all throttle levels from 25 all the way up to 100. As you can tell, this is the HGLRC down here. It's doing better. 
And also, if we take a closer look at the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers, um, obviously the HGLRC forward is doing better. How much better? I would say a noticeable better, slightly noticeable better, possibly in your video feed, depending on how you're powering your VTX, fan filtration, all these types of. But in terms of electrical noise, uh, the HGLRC forward is doing better, and it does have more uh, caps on board for better filtration. Now, the true test is the 6S test, which will be coming, but this is a 4S setup. So if you're looking at 4S setups, pretty high KV, then, you know, if you're looking for the best, currently it's the HLRC forward in terms of filtration. There was no motor stutter on any of these. They all ran perfect. Uh, the HLRC forward did sound super tiny bit smoother. I mean, not... Ah. Just a little bit. I mean, it's not really that noticeable, like, like if you're running a Tico 32. Now, just for reference here, the best 4-in-1 ESC, that's 30 by 30, is for a 4S, is still the Tico 32, the older version. That thing's filtration is out of this world. But if you're running 6S, it's not really great. Uh, for that, you probably have like the metal, the T-Motor F45, uh, F, yeah, F55 amp. All right, so here we just saw the 20 by 20s against each other. Let's bring in some of the good stuff. Let's bring in the Tico 32 4-in-1 ESC. This is still the best 4S 4-in-1 ESC, in my opinion, due to its filtration on board. And let's go ahead and bring in the noise. And this is how good it ran. Nothing has beaten this in terms of raw filtration out of the box with no capacitor added. This is still the top result i've ever gotten with an esc so till this day i think yeah till this day this is still the best 4-in-1 esc for a 4s uh, as you can tell you can see what a really good esc looks like compared to the hglrc forward almost identical like i mean you could put like a small 100 microfarad possibly low esr capacitor it'll mimic this if not slightly better um but yeah the hglrc forward is a good esc here so far uh, let's bring in the T-Motor F55 amp so you get a better idea. So here's the F55 amp. Uh, the, this, this program might crash in a bit. So here, as you can tell, oh, actually the T-Motor did a little bit better. Well, wow. I, I, okay. So, yeah. So right now we're looking at two different things. We're looking at Tico 32 4-in-1, T-Motor F55 amp 4-in-1. Um, in terms of, you know, I don't understand what these are. These are really strange. These little hiccups. This is from the T-Motor F55 amp. Anyways, let's bring this up here then. All right, and on the bottom is the HGLRC forward. Still a good test. Um, what else do you want to see? Let's go ahead and bring in. Oh, this one is a really nice one. I completely forgot about this until the other day. It's the Racer Star Metal Four in One ESC. This is, I think, a pretty good contender for. I've only tested it on 4S, but it's rated up to a 6S. It, this did really great actually it's a racer star esc and you know racer star there's some racer star escs that lasted me more than a year and a half i'm pretty sure possibly even more if anyone's used the older racer star 30 amp v2s those are still going strong on mini quads out there so yeah overall the hlrc forward looks really great in terms of longevity i can't answer that for you in terms of success i will be answering that for you in the next week and Overall, it's a good one out of the box. No motor stutters. I can immediately see if a FET is weak uh, from the specific stutter. Once I catch one, then I'll show you. And I'll probably create some kind of a way to show you how to test for that. So you know that your ESC is bad or it could be a motor. Oh, that's a little bit difficult to figure out. Oh, no, but you can just replace the motor. But yeah, I'll, once I catch something with a bad FET, then I'll make a video on it. And I'll do a bit more debugging tutorials and ways and techniques to figure something out but once i find one that's bad i'll try to make one bad but we'll see how we're going to do that and well like always guys if i help you avoid a purchase or make a purchase please consider using links down below and contributing to my patreon i need all the support i can get because i have a lot of things planned and i currently cannot afford everything so if you can head over to my patreon and support me there i promise you i'll be bringing you way more crazier stuff to test right now i'm kind of limited and scared in the way i test because i need some equipment and some safety stuff in order to take my channel to a whole new level again and i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys